Hello, this is Jonathan with the Rowdy Texan Burgers, Barbecue, and Fish. We have a food trailer, and I want to do a review on this generator right here. This is the Power Horse 7500i inverter generator. Great. Um, I think we gave somewhere around 3000 for it. Um, I was looking for a generator that was super quiet that was big enough to run a trailer of this size and we'll give you a little view of how big this thing is i've got a 24 foot trailer there it is i'm going to show you what i have inside of it so you can kind of get an idea of what we have here here's our refrigerator as you can see we have an electric smoker this is a Smokin' Tex 1500 CXLD, which is the biggest one they make. It draws 1400 watts whenever it's in the on position on both burners. Gas stove, gas fryers, gas griddle, gas grill, gas um, warmer. And then I also have an electric warmer here, freezer, sandwich prep table and my hot water heater is under here it's also electric um, and then of course our lights and we have the mini split ac system um, i have had outstanding luck with this generator i love it and i do recommend it for anybody who wants a quiet generator for their food trailer and i, I, I tell you what i've seen a lot of people run these generators that are loud and i have actually seen customers leave those tables and those booths because they're too loud people don't want to listen to it um i know i don't want to listen to it i, I i'm not gonna sh you know buy food from some guy that's got a noisy generator running on his truck i just, I just can't stand it uh, most people don't and we was at an event a while back and we noticed the same thing we were looking around and there was one lady who was cooking food and she had a couple quiet generators on her truck. She had a line. The people right next door to her, um, they had one of them ungodly loud generators. Um, I think it was a Predator, I think. Um, pretty sure it was one of the open Predator generators. It was very loud and they actually closed up and left while we were there. They just didn't have anybody wanting to buy food from them because it was too loud and everybody, you, you could kind of overhear the conversations. They were like, oh, you know, would these people shut this generator off? And it's because it was just too loud. So anyway, I, I researched all this and I seen where the power uh, horse, like we got, um, compared to the, uh, the Honda 7000, they're basically quieter actually than the than the honda in fact i run a honda on this one for just a little bit just to see if i liked it which i did like it and i would give it very high marks um, but this one is actually quieter than the honda which i don't have it to compare it to now but it was honestly just a shade quieter and it produces a little more power um, so i do like it it is heavy that's one thing i don't like about it we've got it mounted on the front of our trailer um, and I'll, I'll take you out there and let you see all that. But I, I did want you to see this, you know, that's our refrigerator. And the reason I'm showing you this is to show you what it will power. Um, we've also got two, not one, but two uh, exhaust vents. Now, whenever I run this thing, I can run everything on it at one time, as long as I'm only running one exhaust vent. If I want to run both of them, now this includes my generator here, I mean, my, my smoker. Um, if I run, if I want to run both exhaust vents, I've got to either shut the air off or the smoker off because I, I can't draw enough amperage to do it all. Um, but as long as I just have one vent going, I can run the whole thing. And rarely does it, do I have to run everything at one time because we're set up where we can do about anything and I don't pull a full menu all the time. Um, but let me take you out here and show you what I got. This is my trailer. As you see, I've got it parked at the house. We're not at an event right now give you a good look at it there's the generator I've got it mounted on the front it is heavy I think it's 286 pounds power horse 7500i I got it from northern tool for 
I think it was around three grand. Uh, but I'm going to start it up here. And one thing I like about it is you can plug your your USBs into this thing. I love it. It's got 30 amp 120 volt. And then it's got your 20 amp 110 plugs. You know, your household plugs. It's got four of those. And it's got a twist lock plug for a 30 amp. And then this is what I have to run on mine. It's a 120, 240 volt, 50 amp. This is what I have to run on mine. Um, and then you've got your... You know, these, if you want to run parallel, you, you do have parallel capability with this giant generator, which I don't need it, but you can run two together, which I love. So I'm going to power it up for you and let you hear it. It's got three stages. It's got economy, it's got standard, and it's got max. I'm going to start it up on the standard and let you see the difference, and then I'm going to pull up my decimeter and let you see what it's doing at each level, and also let you see it, what it does at the... Uh, the, the takeout window as well as inside so you can kind of get an idea how quiet it is so anyway here we go turn power on push the button okay this is you know armed leg front it i'm right by it it's not offensively loud at all i can stand here and talk to somebody i've got my ipad plugged in here it's running low pull up my decimeter and let you see now this is right here by the generator 70 69 70 that's our average right here 69.6 this is like I say within two feet of the generator I'm right by it now I'm gonna set it down here and let you see the difference I'm going to go right here, fix and switch it to economy mode. See how much it dropped? We dropped down to 65, 66, 65. Noticeably quieter. There we go. Now, let me go back and I'm going to show you what it is on the max. Jumps up to 74. Once again, it's not bad. I'm right by it. It is not bad at all. Averaging 71.2 right by it. That's with me talking. Let you see it as I go through them. See how much that drops? You can actually see the meter going up with me talking by it. That's how quiet this thing is. Now, let me show you this. Of course, here's our where we give it the juice at. Okay. Turn the brake on. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it over here to my takeout window and let you see. Ooh, see now we're getting quieter than an average conversation. My, my voice is going up louder than this is. I'm gonna stand it up so you can see it. Look at that, 54. My voice is shooting it up. You have to ignore that average there because we've had that loud side over there. So it, it's it, the average is not gonna show right. You gotta look at what's going right now, which is 54. Now I'm going to go back and kick it up to max and we'll see what it is. That was on economy. Now we're at max over there and it's still not, I mean, it's, honestly, it's not that loud at all down there. Sixty-four, sixty-three, right here. You know, probably twelve feet from it, halfway down my trailer. That's not bad. 
Now that's very impressive. Now I'm going to go to the standard. Look at there. We're still in the 59s and 60s. And you can run it right there on that one. It'll bump up anytime it needs the power. It'll jump it up to max. You know, if, if you happen to kick something on that needs more power, it, it will kick it up by itself. Um, and it's quieter. If you don't think you'll need that much juice, like if you're just running your warmers in your fridge and running on economy, it'll do everything you need. At least it will in my trailer. Let me go back and plug this up. My battery's dead. Okay, now I want you to get a view of what it's like inside the trailer because you can hear all that there you know I know the the decimeter it's just a number going up and down but that shows you how quiet it really is now this is once again it's on standard mode there it's running now back here at the back of the trailer I wish I had it with me but I don't know how to do a split screen or I would show you I'm gonna go in my trailer hear it running out there I mean, not loud at all this is on standard run up here at the front I'm gonna turn the water on just so you get an idea of how quiet it is that's with my water pump running so you can see the water pump puts out way more noise than that generator does now I'm gonna go outside and we're gonna come back in with it on economy mode I can't even hear it. There, I'm at, now I hear it. My hearing ain't that great. But. Yeah, we hear it running out there. This is with the windows shut, by the way. I don't have them open. I can open them. Let me open them. Doesn't really make any difference, but that's with the windows open. Super, super quiet, super quiet. Now we're gonna go up to max. back inside it's on max it is noticeably louder but still it's not offensive not offensive at all I and mean, when you got to have power at a off location that doesn't have a plug you're not going to find anything quieter than this the only thing you could possibly do to get it quieter would be to have a generator maybe in the back of a truck shut up somewhere that you know was completely away from the site but you're not gonna be able to, to drive down the road with that. You know, you, you gotta have something that you can keep your stuff powered on. Um, I, can, I can hook this thing up and keep it running while I'm driving down the road. It runs a long time off the, the, the fuel tank. Um, I mean, I'm only set up a few hours, so I don't have any problem with, with running out of fuel or anything like that. Um, I love it, um, you know. Northern, I, I, the only thing that I would recommend Northern to do different on that would be to produce one that is fuel injected. This one is carbureted. In a cold start in the morning, you'll have to usually crank it, you know, hit the button, it'll turn over, turn over, turn over, start, and die. Then you'll hit it again, it'll turn over, turn over, start. 
and sometimes die if it's really cold. And then on the third time, it'll crank right up and it'll keep going. It's never failed to start, but on a cold morning, that's what it will do. And I think if they was to produce one that was fuel injected, that they would eliminate that problem. Um, and plus it could be quieter. Uh, I've been told that the carbureted ones, that if they go to a, to a fuel injected ones, they're able to get a little more efficient motor out of it, which will drop the noise down a little bit more. Um, but like I say, I've got mine mounted on the front of the trailer. I love it. Um, you know, if Northern would be kind enough to, to send me a, a new model that was an EFI, I'll be gladly test it out for you. You know, you know, just saying, you know, that they could give me a little plug for their advertising here too. But of course I'm doing this for free. And the reason I'm doing this is because I researched this stuff and I couldn't find anything online that would tell us what the noise level was nothing at all i mean absolutely nothing i could find sales pitches but nothing about uh the noise level of any of them um, and i rented a honda to put on here to see if i liked it which i did but i didn't like the price tag of that honda um, this one here it performs better at a cheaper price so i do like it and that's not saying anything bad about the honda it's a good good tool but you know, for me, I'm going to take the Northern. I got a good warranty on it that covers my commercial application, you know, for just a little bit of money for three years. I mean, the thing breaks, I can take it in and get a whole new unit. So definitely, definitely advise it. I'm going to turn it down here to protect this economy. Not that loud. Now you say you want to see it run with the equipment on it. So I'm going to plug it in with all my equipment so you can see what this thing will run. You've seen my trailer. You see how big it is. Now, I'm going to take it over here. There's my plug. I'm in a hurry, so I'm not going to do it like I normally do. If I'm going down the road, what I'll do is I'll pull this thing up right here, zip tie it to this right here, take my plug, Plug it in. Make sure your breaker's off when you do this. Plug it in. There we go. We're plugged in. Now turn it back on. Here it didn't even kick it down. There's nothing running in there. But I've got it on economy here right now. Let me kick it on on a max just to show you what all it will run. And then we'll go back through it. Okay. Now, once again, like I said, it's it's running max output, which is peak. All that baby can do right there. Refrigerator's been plugged in. It's cold. I'm gonna go ahead and turn. Let's see. Let's turn my sandwich prep table on. Let, let you hear that first. Okay, my sandwich prep. I don't leave it on unless I need it. There's my breaker. On. I don't know if you can hear that or not, but it just kicked on. It's running. Okay, sandwich prep table's going. Refrigerator, I mean freezer, it's going. Everything's cold. See the lights on there? It's on. Um, okay, now. Let's turn the AC on. I run a mini split, so there we go. AC is on, actually it's on heat. Let me turn it on cool. There, you hear it kick on? AC is running. Okay. I mean, this is impressive. This is a, a a quiet generator that's running all this. Now, turn this on. You're gonna hear it kick down again. Did you hear the generator kick down there? Pulled it down whenever I turn that on. That's a 1400 watt, 1400 watt. That's no little smoker, 1400. I could run it on half. 
I could run on the seven, like if I just need a warmer, but let's pretend that I've, I got to smoke a load of briskets. I need all 1400 watts. The generator did not stall a bit. Now, I'm gonna turn my vents on. They're noisy, but you're gonna hear them and you're gonna see that it, it'll keep running. Here we go. We got the AC going. We got the freezer going. We got the sandwich prep table going. We got the smoker going and we got the refrigerator going. Now, oh, and we got our lights going. Now we're gonna go ahead and turn this guy on. And it gets loud when that thing is running. That has nothing to do with the generator. See it pulling. Here. We're definitely running here. of airflow it's pulling through my window here you can see that fly trap i got hanging because it's just in the storage right now but you know it's moving my fly trap the generator's still running running like a champ did not drag it down one bit now let's take it outside it'll show you how many amps we're using so let's go look at that back outside it's quieter out here than it is in there This feature I really like. See, look right here. Our move button. Red Rover pulls 3,063 out of 3,600. It's our uh, field tank level right there. So if you want to run it in the standard, you can see it will kick up to the max when it needs it. Economy, I don't recommend doing because it does drop it so low on economy, unless you're just running like your fridges or something. All right. Vents off. Smokers off. You can hear my generator idling down out there too as things are going off. AC's still on there. And it's cold. Shut it off too. Shut that off. I leave my freezers on, leave my sandwich prep on. Then I'm gonna shut it off. I don't need it on right now. There, sandwich prep's off. But anyway, there you go. That That is the Power Horse 7500i inverter generator. I love it. I do recommend it. I hope that helps you in your, your decision-making processes if you're trying to, to buy one and just wondering just how loud is this thing going to be. Um, you know, now you know. Let me see here. I don't know how to switch this around. Not very good at this camera, but anyway, that's my trailer, by the way. And there's Lucy, there's my dog. Windows shut. You go ahead and close this one, too. Let me see if my iPads turn back on yet. Okay, hey, we got two percent. We can, we can keep going with it. Let me let me show you a little bit more here. Okay, I'm just gonna leave it on standard so you can see it. Let's go back inside. Now this is at the back of the trailer on standard mode.
we're down in the, the mid 50s. Not on economy, standard. That's the, that's the one where you're still getting some juice out of it. Inside, look at that. I, whenever I talk, it, it goes above that. I have to talk real loud to stay below that 52 meter. That just shows you how quiet that is. In a normal conversation, there you go, 60s. So, one last thing before we go. Let's go outside and sh show you what it's like in here on the economy mode. And I'll show you what it's like to and from it. This is at the back of the trailer, if you wonder why I'm back here. A lot of times you'll have customers hanging around the back waiting on their food. Definitely quiet. Now I'll tell you what, that is cool. That's where we're inside, and look at that. 45. You have to whisper to get it down. And this is at the front of the trailer. Right on the other side of that wall is my generator. 48. I'm telling you guys, don't waste your money on a crappy generator. Get a good one, get a quiet one. My recommendation, go ahead and get that Northern. The powerhouse, if you can find it. And I had a heck of a time finding it. I happened to find a new northern, new northern tool store going in that was still setting up. And they actually had one in the warehouse because it was a brand new store. Otherwise, I was going to have to wait like four months to get one at that time. Now, you know, they may be caught up on pr production since then. But, you know, there we go. I'm going to just keep my decimeter on so you can see when I shut it off. There you go. Nice and quiet. Hope that helps.